I was thinking I was going to be an English teacher when I was in high school. But what I found was when I was working in the schools volunteering or I had a work study job, um, they didn't need help with English so much as that they really needed help with math. There's such a demand for math teachers, you won't have a hard time getting a job. Um, in addition, there's so many paths for growth because we just don't have enough math teachers. So when I went to school, I took my math classes and then I took my teaching classes. I was the only person who was planning on being a teacher. So on top of like not having friends that uh, would be doing the thing I wanted to do, like I wasn't able to build a network that would support me after college. So our courses, the cohort in these classes are mostly going to be teachers. So the, the mathematics courses are designed to help you connect some of these abstract mathematical ideas to teaching. Um, and that was something I really could have used when I was going to school is, okay, this is really fascinating and beautiful, but how in the world am I going to translate this into ninth graders and 10th graders and 6th graders? How is that helpful to me? So I think we're pretty unique in that way. Um, I've only seen master's programs that do that. I haven't seen a lot of undergrad programs that do that. There's a lot of collaboration in my courses. So they were creating these posters that um, they might have hung up on uh, a family night coming to an elementary school. And so as they were creating this poster, by giving each other roles, uh, they all had to trust each other's input and develop these norms of you know, respectful discourse. So um, I think that that activity where they were creating a physical thing together, um, they really gravitate toward. The transformation that you see in a kid um, when they do something that's difficult and realize that they can do it with hard work, that's something that I think is the most rewarding thing in the world.